Hey coin collectors, today I'm going to show you several extra valuable US coins that sell for big money even in circulated conditions. This is 1944 steel cent with very fine details. Most collectors and many non-collectors are very familiar with the famous 1943 bronze cent errors, struck on leftover blanks from previous year's coinage. The less famous but equally important 1944 steel cent errors occurred in the same way, struck on leftover steel blanks from 1943 coinage. The 1944 steel cents, like their 1943 counterparts, are known from all three operating mints during the World War II, with a total estimated population of less than 40 coins from all three mints. Present coin was sold for $13,200. In this circulated and environmentally damaged condition at heritage auctions. This is 1965 Washington Quarter in extremely fine 45 condition, struck on a silver planchette. A rare transitional planchette error similar to 1943 copper cent or the 1977 D Ike struck on silver clad planchettes. Silver quarters dated 1964 and clad quarters dated 1965 were both struck during 1965 and inevitably a 90% silver planchette apparently lodged within a bean that was later filled with clad planchettes destined for 1965 dated dies. It was bargained for $9300 at heritage auctions. Here is 1943 P. Jefferson nickel in extremely fine 40 condition, struck on copper nickel planchette. All Jefferson nickels struck in 1943 were supposed to be issued on silver alloy planchettes to conserve copper and nickel for the war effort. However, a few leftover copper nickel planchettes from 1942 were inadvertently fed into presses in 1943. This is distinctive from its silver alloy counterparts due to its patina, which retains a pleasing olive gray hue as opposed to typically dark appearance of war nickels. Sold on November 21, 2022 for $7,800 at heritage auctions. And this is 1999p Canada of dollar in AU58 condition, an error coin struck on 8.5 gram copper core. Since 1971, Kennedy halves struck for circulation have two outer layers of 75% copper and 25% nickel surrounding a 100% copper core. Rarely one side of a Kennedy half will be missing one of its clad layers. The error occurs when the blanks are cut from the start or end of a clad coinage strip and one or both ends have protruding middle copper layer. It's extremely rare for both clad layers to be absent. Sold on May 6, 2022 for $5,280 at heritage auctions. 